All right, guys. Today we're going to do another tutorial, uh, one that you've been waiting for quite a while. We're going to show you guys how to wire in the course of motion sequential modules. Um, they come in packages of two like this and available on our store. Um, so let's just get started. These are the Impreza GV lights. So before we get started, you're going to need to wire these lights a specific way. Um, you can refer to our wiring tutorials in case you get confused. But basically the way you want to wire this is you want to wire this where all the grounds are connected together and then you have a power for each specific section. So what I mean by that is um, you're going to have one ground wire here and you should be able to basically turn on every single section individually um, for the sequential turn signal. So what I mean by that is just like the way you have you know, your dimming module like this for the dimming, the reverse, and for the, uh, and for the brakes, like that, you're going to see, if you see here, we have an individual red wire coming from every single turn signal uh, socket or turn signal pixel per se. So if you see, if I do this, the rear ones turn on, that one turns on, that one turns on, like that. So and so far and so forth. So, so basically each of these pixels are individually separated to be unique um, on unique circuits. So if we look at the following module, you're going to notice that there's an input and an output. So the two inputs are 12 volt and ground. That's going to come from your harness, whether it's through the dimming module, which is here, or through the harness directly, depending on how you wired it. And your outputs are going to be ground, which is your LED ground, and then 10 through 1. So the way this thing works is your 12 volt from here will discharge sequentially from 1 through 10. Meaning if I want it to go left to right, um, I just wire the leftmost LED group as 1, and then the last one is 10. If you have less than 10 pixels, then you can space it out. So 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, or 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and that will slow it down respectively. So let's go ahead and wire it so I can show you what I mean. So now that I know what I want to do, I'm going to take the, my sequential module right here, and I'm going to wire the lights in the following way. So I want the turn signal to go like this. So in, so. What it's going to basically look like is I'm going to wire uh, this wire into square one. I'm going to take this wire into square two, this wire into square three, and you get the idea. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So after a little bit more wiring and some cleaning up, I'm going to show you what I've done, but I've more or less wired the, uh, so these four wires down here, the loose wires you see are your inputs. The ground goes to the harness, so these are all your harness wires. And what you basically are seeing is the dimming module for the turn signals goes into the sequential board then to the sequential board to the board. So it'll go from harness 
dimming module, dimming module to turn signal, uh, turn signal module, turn signal module to board. And what you should get is something that looks like this. So, if I ground it, and then those are the brakes. And that's the turn signal. So, here. And it pulses based off the turn signal pulse on your vehicle. So keep in mind that you will need some kind of load resistor or an LED flasher relay for this to work. So I hope this tutorial was useful for you guys. And if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. We'll be releasing uh, another couple more videos after. All right, take care guys, peace.